she used to pay me high prices, but life is full of surprises. Tyler comes in second place, the perfect timing. You should swear that I was ready, but back then I wasn't rhyming. Funny, love the game, she's staying in my dorm and eating ramen. College had me stressing, college had me stressing. So father grant me blessings, path I'm on this lonely, so right now just help me feel your presence. Give me royal bars with the humility of mortal peasants. Pray that every elder stand for lesson. Call me Lauren as I stand on this hill, I begin to survey the... All right, y'all, manifesting one-on-one. Let me make sure this is okay with it. So what y'all don't know is I'm about to start a new job. I got an interview, but I already think that I'm going to get it. I'm pray praying that I'm going to get it. I'm not going to go in there like I'm going to get it. So this next vlog is going to be me. Like, I need to go. I'm going to have to, y'all, I just moved in my fucking house two months ago, but I knew when I applied for the position, I was going to have to move again. So I was waiting. So manifesting one-on-one, like, make a plan. Like, I, I, I set this. I made an intention, put a plan in motion. Um, and so I said, okay, when this happens, I'm gonna do this. When this happens, I'm gonna do this. So the the thing that happened happened that needed to happen for me to go ahead and go and look for some uh places to stay. So I'm about to look for some places to stay. I'm cleaning my house. <laughs> like first off, I love this home. So they say God won't take something without causing something new to be born. So I can only imagine what my next home is gonna look like. Um, and I'm going into it with a a different mind frame. So I know I want to live. I know I know what I want it to look like. So. This week, I'm going to go and look for it. Not this week, but next week, because I got it. I got my interview this week. So, but today, I'm cleaning my fucking house. Um, I need to book a hotel room, because I'm not going. So, my interview is on Friday the 13th, and then I'm going to go on a, a Sunday to go look at apartments. So that when, I'm speaking it into existence, when they offer me the job, I can just plug and play. I can, I can send my deposit, go paint, do whatever it is that I need to do. So, yeah. So, today... Booking a hotel, X Y Z. Y'all probably won't see this until I'm sitting at my desk. I won't press send. If you're watching this, it's already too late. I'm already gone. I'm already moved. I'm not in the and same place. And it's probably gonna be a couple of parts. So, uh, until we run out of this ten minutes, and then the next ten minutes, and the next ten minutes. So, cleaning my house today, doing what I need to do to manifest the house that I want. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous, and all of the things. But let's go. Child, I almost had a slight panic attack because I'm in here trying to figure out what to wear to this interview. And I went to, I went out there like a year ago, and I wore a little suit or whatever. And I tried to pull that bitch up around my waist, and it ain't work. But so I was like, "Fuck that! I'm gonna just try on all my clothes." Cause bitch, what the fuck? But my ass just spread. My hips just wide because I've been working out trying to get a fatter ass. So right now I'm like in a 8 10 and i'm okay with that i have decided to be the fucking i'm like i'm gonna just be a full figure lady i'm okay with that uh this is the 18 and i had it for a really long time so bitch i didn't went through all my clothes and that's the only thing that i really can't fit no more uh but everything else is slim in these areas because they used to be snug and pug bitch so i done lost some weight in these fucking areas bitch but this ass bitch this ass bitch is assing so I just wanted to know, wanted y'all to know that, like, when you get to working out, like, you want a fatter ass, you're gonna need bigger pants. And so the waist is slimming down, and the ass is getting fatter. So, but another thing, when I do interviews, even though it's a virtual interview, I'm getting all the way dressed up. Um, I'm not gonna wear this one because my tattoos show. And while I don't ever feel no way about my tattoos, I don't know how people gonna feel. I don't think they gonna feel no way. But I'm a, I gotta sneak in, bitch. So I'm probably gonna wear a button down shirt. I'm gonna go to I'm about to go get my hair done and then I'm probably gonna go to I think it's T J Maxx over there or Marshall over there and get me a button up shirt. Um, and probably a blazer because I, I, I just want a regular black blazer and the black blazer that I got my arms is just big They always been big and Bitch the blazer that I had to go with the little thing. They it fit. Well, bitch, let me show you what it looked like It don't look bad But I mean I could probably But I can't like If I had to necessarily pull it off I would but you see how that bitch look like a squeeze fucking sausage and we just not doing it so um like i said so we getting back into my business clothes babe all my business clothes is looking like they need to look fit how they need to fit i remember when this was like poochy bitch but i i like actually like love the way that this is fitting on my body so <laughs> what i'm doing is working but yeah interview ready trying to get my mind right i'm a nervous fucking wreck even though I probably shouldn't be, I am. I done looked up all of the people that I'm doing my interview with. Um, I'm trying to get together any thoughts that I would have. 
Um, so now I'm about to get my hair done. I probably gonna get my nails done too, just to kind of take the edge off, have some nice nails. You look good, you feel good. Um, and I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. Um, and I just bought a whole bunch of new business clothes off of Timu, which I shouldn't have, but um, I'm glad that I did. But yeah, <laughs> I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Last part of my rant, honestly, I think I had gained a lot more weight. Uh, <laughs> y'all see, I don't know if y'all can see that ass, ass, but I had gained, I lost some weight. So, ooh, we. I'm glad I ain't trying to pants on before I lost a little bit of weight. I can tell I lost weight because of how these pants fit. But yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm done. I'm not done trying on no clothes, but I'm just done showing y'all. But these are some pants I had got for a conference not too long ago. Yo, you can't see it. It's an obstacle illusion to you, but yo, 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 yo. All right, I know I said I was on the real life. This one of my favorite business dresses I got. I can't even hope. This bitch just bad. I don't feel like zipping it all the way up. But yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I always like putting this little dress on because it's always it's always a nice little snazzy number, bitch. But again, I ain't gonna wear it because my tattoo come all the way up here. But you you better believe you're gonna see me strutting around campus in this bitch. If it look paint painted on, it's cause it is. Alright, I'm done. Alright, all right, I'm done, but I don't know if y'all can see how that thing banging back though. It's my good side. Yo! 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 I can get with this. I'm still working on the stomach. Well, bitch, I could get with this. Alright, I'm done. For bitch, me. the emotional roller coaster I just went through about my weight. I wish y'all don't understand how it takes to what it takes to be a fucking woman. But I'm okay because I've really been trying to transform my body. And so, in transforming your body, like, you gotta understand what come and what go. The stomach going, I'm okay with that, but the air is spreading. And I guess I'm okay with that, bitch. Like, games, good games and bad games. All right, this is about, a, bitch, this, like, this is the story about how I, like, the behind the scenes of fucking me manifesting my dreams, bitch. And is this how I want to stay? It's the size I want to stay? Like, I like the way. I like the way my ass look. You understand what I'm saying? I like I like the way that my waist, but that me giving up size six, and I guess I'm 34. I guess being a size eight to ten at the age of 34 is fucking okay. It's some people that look like Respucia. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Y'all, the fact that it's fucking raining outside when I'm about to go get my hair straightened blow me like a whistle. But well, don't you worry your pretty little head because I already got the wrap and the cap in the, in the bag. Alright y'all, the hair is fucking hairy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now I'm in Ulta trying to get this red look because I want to wear this NARS red look for my, uh, and if, and if you don't know about the NARS red look, then get it together or forget it forever. I'm trying to get that to pop up for y'all. Oh, that's it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pop that. Pop that kit. Fuck it, y'all. Lip cop. Now we're about to find a blouse. I really want one of those tie-up bow bell type blouses. Or a button up, but something that come all the way up. So let's see what we can look see. Fucking cute while I'm shopping. All right, I got a hat, I mean a blazer, and a. So shirt. I decided against getting my nails and my feet done. Next time y'all see me, y'all gonna see me right before I get ready to interview the interview look, and then you gonna have to catch the interview after everything after the interview after the, on the next vlog. Ah. All right, so it's the night before my interview. Um, I have looked up all of the panel that's interviewing me, manifestation interview tip. Like if you know who's gonna be interviewing you. Look up the company that you'll be working for. Look up the interviewers if you can so you can know what you want to talk about. And write down any questions that you may have uh, to prepare for the interview. So I've done all of that. I'm trying to get my mind right. Everybody has been cut off from me. And I will not have any conversation with anybody until after my interview because I don't want nobody to mess with my energy or what I have going for me. Um, so the next episode will be me telling the story time of how I got here and me getting ready for the interview. So see y'all then. Ah.